Hey, Cider Explorers. For those that check in with me regularly, I normally have a chair and a table. It's not a great chair or table, but they've even taken that from me. Well, at least left me some ciders. So what do we got here? Cloud City. It's been a while. Uh, this is our Synth City, and it is our uh, pineapple and peach version, along with Motueka hops. For those not familiar with Motueka, we use it quite a bit in cider because it's very limey, um, and, and it's not too herbaceous. It works really, really well with these white and tropical fruits. Um, if you guys haven't seen the label, it's another fun one from Caleb. You know, we got these Tron vibes and all that stuff. Synth City, um, you know, Cloud City's been a while in the old Cloud City glass. A little harder to open without a table. We're gonna go for it. So, you know, color-wise, you're always gonna get the, you know, beautiful yellow, little bit of an orange hue from the peach. Um, but I can already smell it coming out. The Dreamsicle series, we used to use lactose in it, but we moved away from it because uh, typically a lot of allergen issues, and we just didn't want to, we just don't like the idea of putting milk sugar into cider. Um, the main thing that makes it the Dreamsicle is the vanilla characteristic, and then the hoppy characteristic kind of pairing with it, and making that kind of dryish but desserty and fun kind of uh, hoppy cider. So let's give it a sniff. Yeah, I mean, you're getting tons of tropical notes coming up out of this. It's super ripe, I mean, and I really, really like that. It's one reason we really have, have a lot of fun using pineapple, because of the ripeness um, in the nose that you get from it. You get a little bit of the, the vanilla, which is sweetening the whole thing up, and then that white peach kind of coming at the end. You can smell the hops, but we never try to go too heavily with the hops. When we do it in a boil, we're typically doing it at in the brewing world at a whirlpool temp as it's starting to come down, so about 140 degrees, so it's not bringing in a ton of bitterness. Let's give it a sip. Super, super zingy. Um, you know, one thing about uh, not just the Cloud Cities, but um, Graph Cider in general is our cider does currently with the with our current production um, facility, it does evolve throughout the seasons because it's affected in a way by the temperature. During the winter times, it's less acidic, a um, little more apple-y during the summer times it's a little more uh, tropical and uh, acidic. A lot of that has to do with the temperature around our cidery and that's going to uh, either uh, increase the acidity and that's because more bacteria are happier, uh, the yeast are happier, so everything is just chewing through the through the nutrients in the food a lot quicker than they normally would and creating uh, you know more uh, uh, byproducts like acid, um, more like tropical kind of notes whereas in the Winter, you're getting, uh, you know, obviously a, a lot less acid production, uh, last, a lot less acid production. Um, malactic is slower, which is something that all of our ciders go through, and that's what converts the uh, the Granny Smith apple acid, the malic acid, into that soft cheese acid. Um, so it affects everything, but I think it's really cool to kind of see the nicer, uh, higher acidity. It's almost like, you know, Mother Nature saying, "Hey, it's hot. Have something nice and tart and refreshing for the summertime." And it's absolutely delicious. Um, the peach and the pineapple pair really, really well. It's been a flavor combo we've been wanting to do for a long time. And again, that limey motueka kind of in the background just is just really, really nice. Um, definitely one of my, my favorite Cloud Cities that we've done. And the last of the slushy series. Again, kind of some fun little like funky artwork. I remember Caleb in this one was like, is it okay if the frog is farting flames? And I'm like, you know, Caleb, you do you because he's a wild guy. Um, speaking of wild, this is a strawberry banana slushy cider. I know we haven't done banana in a while. I think the last one we did was a collab with uh, Crooked Run, which was a banana, um, it was a banana pineapple coconut cider in the winter time of all times called Monkey Business. Uh, so I always love using banana. It's a wacky one, but it yields great results. Um, so we fermented the banana puree and the strawberry together. Um, and then back sweetened again with banana and strawberry and a little hibiscus because we, if you haven't seen our ingredients labels, we love hibiscus. We use a lot of it. So, you're getting banana on, on the front. You're getting, you know, kind of that banana puree smell, you know, like almost like, like you know, fresh banana opened up, but then also like a little bit of like, you know, that baby's food. Not in like a, it's a, it's a little weird, but it, it, it translates really, really well. And then you're getting that, you know, nice strawberry acidity. Um, you know, should be great to help cool down, which is great because it's hot as hell in here. 
as you can see, I'm sweating profusely. Um, we'll give it a sip. Quenching and refreshing indeed. You know, the banana is definitely up front and then strawberry is all in the back. You're hitting this wall of acidity as you break through that banana flavor and it's all just like tart strawberry with that hibiscus kind of floral characteristic in the background. Really, really fun. Great color as always. Um, what's coming up next uh, for next Cider Explorers box is going to be really cool. We did a collab with uh, Crooked Save. We actually used their Brett East to ferment uh, French cider apples. Really, really cool project. And we are starting our Nordic Meads again. Second uh, time around. Have some really, really fun flavors lined up and uh, look forward to seeing you next month. Cheers, guys.